Today's video is going to be brought to you by Squarespace. <gasps> Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another Board to Naruto Next Generation discussion on the follow-up from Board to Chapter 80. And today, I wanted to bring to you guys a Board to Fan Theory that one of my patrons brought to my attention that I thought was worth exploring over here on the channel for a broader discussion with the community, which is why we might already know how Shiba Otsutsuki, the long-awaited Otsutsuki god, might be introduced into the story properly. Now, long-time viewers of the channel know that I've been saying due to how much Samurai ate, I I've seen sprinkled in the Boruto, in particular once Kishimoto took over writing the manga. I've been of the belief we're going to see something similar with Boruto and Shibai to what we saw with Hachimaru in Samurai 8. However, my patron went a different direction and it's one I find absolutely fascinating because there are multiple different narrative outcomes that this could have and I'm curious to see how you guys react to it. So according to my patron, they're saying that if we assume that Boruto will continue to slightly mirror the events of Naruto, which is basically the Naruto manga so that includes part two for those who are anime only and don't know there's not a Naruto Shippuden manga they say assuming that the Boruto story continues to slightly mirror Naruto what's to say there's not another Susuke a psychopathic smooth brain one who is determined to acquire the powers of Shibai will go as far as to use the body of Shibai as a husk similar to what we saw at the Tentails husk while seeking to capture Damon, Ada and anyone else who has power that belongs to Shibai to feed to his husk Ask. Now, the reason why this grabbed my attention is because the chosen word being husk here, not necessarily about the whole thing about sealing chakra from these people into Shibai's husk. Allow me to explain. Everything that we've been seeing right now revolves around the car inner members or former inner members. Code with the Tentails army, codes of former car inner. Damon and Ada were meant to be car inner, cyborgs like Kawaki and the rest of car, but ultimately Jigen ordered them to be destroyed because they had Shibai. DNA and they're viewed as being too much of a threat. Kawaki has the Roman numeral of the car inners and was raised by car to be Ishiki's next vessel. Amato is a former inner who played the role of the car scientist. Car can literally be translated to either being shell or being husk. So that's why it grabbed me because of the translation, not so much because of the Tentel's husk, i.e., the Gido Mazu statue. I could see this working narratively for the reason that we have people associated with car who each happen to have DNA transplanted into them that belong to Shibai, which was used as binding agents for a model's ninja tech. Shibai's body right now is technically a husk or a shell because his soul has transcended due to him rising above the need for a karma seal and he exists on a higher plane, something that Momoshiki confirmed was true. If we were to go that route that someone was attempting to gather what power belonged to Shibai by restoring the DNA a model lifted by feeding the chakra inside the people to the husk of Shibai that narratively actually works and it puts a lot of blood on Amato's hands. Amato's ninja tech that used Shibai's DNA as a binding agent isn't too different from what you saw with the Biju being sealed into the Jinchuriki. When the Akatsuki extracted the Biju chakra due to what happens when you seal the Biju inside of a person, the person who had the tail beast chakra extracted ultimately ended up dying as a result. There was no separation of this is the Biju's chakra and this is the Jinchuriki's chakra. You rip out the Biju Chakra, the Jinchuriki died. Amato's nanotech was described as having been placed into the body on a cellular level. Shibai's DNA, by extension, is inside the cells of those who have had Shibai's DNA transplanted to use his, his Shinjutsu powers. Extracting that DNA would likely lead to death for those who have Shibai's DNA for the same reason. You can't separate the two, and we've seen before Otsuski DNA inside of a human runs through their body on a cellular level. Momoshiki literally converted his remaining DNA to rebuild Boruto's heart and lungs, making him 100% Otsutsuki on a genetic level, even though only 82% of Momoshiki's data had been extracted into Boruto's body. The big question about this comes down to who exactly would be after Shibai's husk for the purposes of using his full power. That's the thing we don't really know the answer to, but given that we have a slight mirroring of Naruto's manga, we could look to see what characters who have already been introduced or hinted at that have an incentive to go about such a thing. I think the easiest low-hanging fruit 
that we all went to upon hearing this was the missing Otsuski. Not necessarily that there's going to be some random Otsuski come out here because in Ishiki's dimension, there are two markers for Otsuski who haven't been introduced into the series yet. And following the literature principles, that would classify as a huge Chekhov's gun. You don't introduce it into the series and not have it pay off later on down the line. The same way that the Chekhov's gun is a principle that says that you don't introduce a gun into the story and not fire it off at some point in the story. The same way that we saw Sasuke read the Chia Stone tablet and we learned about the information written on to it and over time after hundreds of chapters we learned that there was more information made available as Nuchia unlocked the stronger dojutsu. In Naruto's manga it took hundreds of chapters to get that information but we got the payoff for what was introduced into part one of Naruto's story hundreds of chapters later with the stone tablet of the Uchiha clan. I think a similar approach with the two markers would be something similar to see. That's the easiest storytelling approach. Those two missing Otsuski show up at some point and like Momoshiki, they know about Shibai's Shinjutsu and seeing that there are humans with this Shinjutsu, they would have incentive to find the body which is somewhere that Amato had access to it in order to extract the DNA of Shibai behind Jigen's back and was able to place it into the bodies of people like Aiden and Damon. So the idea that they track down Aiden and Damon and anyone else who has that DNA, extract their chakra out of their body to use the hustle themselves, that's the low hanging fruit, but let's take it a step further though. Is using the two missing Otsuski in that manner really the best thing to do from a narrative perspective? That I'm not too sure about especially considering they might wind up being the last of the Otsuski who we end up seeing in the series. So you want to make them feel impactful the same way that Kishimoto built up the Sage's Six Pass. And then after all the buildup had the Sage's Six Pass warn us that for strongest model was getting in the manga. Kaguya was even more powerful than the Sage of Six Pass himself, which is an effective way to get Kaguya over right away because we knew that the Sage of Six Pass was broken. I think you say the two missing Otsuski and you look somewhere else. Could we see Ko deranged enough that he goes to this link to carry out Ishiki's will? I think it's possible. It will require us getting more exposition because he idolized Jigen for being Ishiki's vessel and he worshiped Ishiki for being a god, but Shibai is a literal god. If we learn that Ko knows about Shibai, I think it's going to be a sign we had a missed opportunity to set this up properly because we still don't know why Ko is as obsessed with the Otsuski clan as he is. That wouldn't be the best route to take either in my opinion. However, I do think pointing the finger at a motto has enough narratively to back this up. One thing that we consistently seen so far is that a motto is only on a motto's side and a motto's side is merely whoever gives him the best chances to accomplish his goal at the time, which is to resurrect his daughter's soul into Delta's body because Delta being a clone does not have the soul of his daughter, nor the personality of his daughter. When he was given that sob story about what he wanted done to bring his daughter back to life, Amato was showed with a look of helplessness, both when Jigen came to him in the flashback and when he said that Kawaki was his last option to save his daughter. Assuming Kawaki's karma fails to bring back his daughter, that could be a break glass in case of emergency situation for a model. When we really look at what we already have introduced to us in the story, Kawaki's already directly stated, will using my karma make another Otsuski if I put this on Delta? Which we know is because Kawaki wants to kill all the Otsuski. The door is already cracked that there might be another Otsuski out there. We know that according to Ishiki, humans can eat the chakra fruit in order to update themselves into becoming Otsuski because that's exactly what he told Code to do. There is potentially more than one way to become an Otsuski. Would any of us be shocked if Amato out of desperation tries to take back Shibai's DNA through some crazy means from those who have it and steal it into Shibai's husk and use it as a method to bring back his daughter? I'm really fascinated by this because Amato's desperate. He's similar to Zetsu in that both of them weren't the physically strongest, but Zetsu ended up sneaking up on everybody by betraying Madara and having his own reasons for doing so. At the time, most of the people in the community, they didn't see Zetsu coming at all because Madara was just a walking menace in the manga for the last three years. The community was distracted and Amato feels like he was being positioned just 
far back enough that we don't actually pay attention to him. Even in the scene where everyone in Konoha is on Kawaki's side and Boruto's shown standing alone, where's Amado drawn? In the very back of the page, looking over at Kawaki and Sasuke. Narratively, it doesn't feel too forced either, not just because of the angle with his daughter. Boruto tackles the question of where does science fit in this world of ninjutsu? Boruto's literally fighting an Otsutsuki cyborg in Kawaki. That's the perfect blend of alien and science. It makes sense if a human scientist this desperate ends up doing something that sets up the end goal for this conflict especially if there is something linking to his daughter. It would also tie into one of Boruto's other stories, which is the story of father and son, the story of parent and child. Kawaki, without having to say it, has made it known that if his karma turned Delta slash Abiki into an Otsutsuki, that he won't hesitate to kill her. Amato would be willing to go to extremes if it means protecting his daughter so he can continue looking for a way to save her. Amato, being the black Zetsu of this whole thing and not necessarily having a new Otsutsuki pop up, I don't think it's crazy, nor do I think it's crazy that if we see Shibai's soul being summoned from whatever a plane of existence that he's ascended to because of the actions of some rogue Otsuski or the two missing Otsuski or Code or Amato. There are a few different ways that you could actually introduce Shibai or introduce the concept of using Shibai's husk for a greater purpose. You could even potentially have someone open in Pandora's box and we have Shibai return because of these actions. The possibilities are about as endless as the types of websites you can build by using Squarespace. If you've ever thought about creating your own website, Squarespace needs to be the first place that you head to when you decide to get started because Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform to help you create your own personal website. By using Squarespace to create your own website, you can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. You can manage membership, send email communications and leverage audience insights all on an easy to use platform. Create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. Extend Squarespace already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. You can even display posts from your social media platforms onto your website automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash naruto explain to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or a domain thank you again to squarespace for sponsoring today's video